In the celestial realm, 2024 is the year of the dragon, which I, along with many others, find ourselves on the brink of a formidable challenge, Fan Tai Sui, meaning our zodiac sign is in clash with Tai Sui. Tai Sui, or the Grand Duke Jupiter, represents a dynamic task force comprised of 60 Tai Sui deities. Each deity takes charge of the cosmos for a year, exerting their ever-changing and unpredictable influence. For the year 2024, the honor of Tai Sui duty falls upon the esteemed Grand General Li Cheng, who will guide and shape the destinies of those born under the dragon sign and the other zodiac animals. It is believed that during the year when a person's zodiac animal sign is aligned with the Tai Sui, they may experience challenges, obstacles, or disruptions in various aspects of their life. These challenges can manifest in areas such as career, relationships, health, or overall luck. In 2024, Tai Sui casts its shadow on the dragons, the dogs, the rabbits, and the oxes. Dragon, as it is their own year, dragons directly confront Tai Sui. This can lead to various challenges and is often seen as a time to be cautious in all areas of life, including health, relationships, and career. Rabbit, being directly opposite the dragon in the zodiac, rabbits are in conflict with Tai Sui. This opposition can bring about instability and unexpected changes, so it's advised to be careful in decision-making and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Ox, the ox is in a position of Chong Tai Sui, which means clashing with Tai Sui. This may lead to a year of fluctuations and potential obstacles, particularly in career and personal growth. Dog Dogs are in a position of Zing Tai Sui, which implies a form of punishment or correction by Tai Sui. This can manifest as indirect challenges or hidden problems, urging dogs to be more vigilant and cautious in their actions and relationships. If your zodiac animal is mentioned, you might wonder how to ensure a peaceful year. One thing is to follow the traditional practice, visiting temples, and seeking blessings. I will take you on my journey to pray in one of the most powerful temple in Beijing. On this chilly Beijing morning, I found myself amidst a river of people, all headed toward the same destination. We share a timeless secret, passed down through generations, that fuels our determination and carries us through the wintry morning's grip. Our journey leads to a reservoir of history and spirituality holding the key to our aspirations for a brighter future. History imparts its whispered wisdom to those who listen, and destiny extends its hand with a welcoming embrace. Yong Higong, also known as the Lama Temple, has indeed become renowned for its mystical ambience, with many of us locals believing in its extraordinary ability to turn dreams into reality. The awe-inspiring power of Yong Higong is deeply rooted in its legendary past. In the 17th century, during the Qing dynasty, this temple was originally constructed as an imperial palace for the fourth prince, who would later ascend to the throne as Emperor Yongzheng, one of the longest reigning emperors in Chinese history. However, destiny had a different script in mind for this grand palace. Emperor Yongzheng, captivated by the wisdom of Tibetan Buddhism, converted the palace into a lamasery. What was once a seat of imperial power transformed into a bastion of spiritual significance, forever altering the course of history. Emperor Yongzheng's connection with Yonghegong runs deep, for it's said that his spirit resides within these hallowed halls. His enlightened spirit, intertwined with the very essence of the temple, lends immense credibility to the spiritual resonance that pulses through every brick and stone. Within these walls, prayers reverberate with an unmatched intensity. Believers and seekers come from far and wide to seek blessings, guidance, and solace. The spiritual aura of Yonghegong, strengthened by its imperial origins, makes it a beacon of hope and a sanctuary for those who seek to confront the cosmic forces that shape their destinies. Another common practice is to invite accessories like bracelets, pendants, or charms believed to bring luck and ward off negative energies. In places like Yonghegong, you can obtain these charms at the Buddhism Object Center and have them blessed at the Consecration Ceremony Room. They make excellent gifts for your loved ones. A special note is that you cannot purchase or buy these sacred objects, instead, you can only invite them. However, it's not mandatory to invite them. For example, this time I've included my own jewelry in the Consecration Ceremony, and they too are blessed. It's a personal choice that adds a meaningful touch to the experience. Personally, I've invited and wear these charms, feeling a sense of protection.
Thank you for watching. I will see you next Saturday.